Hi everybody, so today we'll be focusing on a attic that I did with uh, some heat runs. Alright, so here we've got my furnace, and my furnace is in the basement. The good part about this is that obviously I can access my filter very, very easily from inside of my house. It's within the controlled environment. I mean, I personally think that I prefer this versus an attic. I know that there's uh, probably some older homes and some modern homes as well where they can't really uh, fit the furnace because they don't have a basement. Um, that's often the issue. So then they have to put the furnace up in the attic with uh, all the heat runs. But again, during the winter, you're trying to heat the house and all the heat runs are running hot air and then the attic is cold just like the outside of uh, the house. And then during the summer, it's uh, you're trying to cool the house. And obviously, you've got cool air coming through the heat ducts or the HVAC ducts uh, that are insulated, but the outside um, attic is actually really hot. In the older homes, you see the main ducts that are wrapped with uh, this aluminum wrapping uh, in the attics. Uh, and you also see that with the dryer exhaust, if uh, they go through the attic, all right? Uh, you will would have noticed that in some of my videos. Uh, my responsibility is to put uh, fiberglass uh, R60 in this attic uh, where there's a uh, flat ceiling, so that's what I do. Let's get this going. And uh, yeah. <laughs> the heat runs basically connect through your furnace and you have a uh, half pound in this house that uh, was spray foamed. All right, so there's one thing that I learned from a lot of my experience, or many things I should say. Um, it's uh, pretty crazy what uh, you sort of look back after three years, how much you've learned, because I basically told uh, the one guy that I was training, I said, make sure that before you move, that you get absolutely as much as you can reach with uh, the loose fill before you move around, because or else you're going to miss some spots and then you're going to come back and you're going to be too far to uh, get them and then you're going to be walking on your own uh, work basically to correct it so definitely that's one thing um, what I did want to mention too is uh, well for these obviously uh, these heat runs you cannot I cannot step on them or else I'm going to um, damage not only the dust but the insulation because uh, this stuff is um, definitely very fragile. The other thing too is you see this gap here, right? And uh, so I gotta fill that right in. So or else there's going to be um, some uh, thermal bridging. I wanna avoid that, right? So I gotta fill all of this stuff under here and especially get um, like places like right in that corner over there right? you gotta stuff that hose right in there make sure that everything is uh covered with the loose fill that's uh definitely a lot of multitasking with this job all right so anyway we'll continue on i just wanted to show you that before you kept going and uh like i said also over there i removed the the vent that was uh, directly connected with the soffit bathroom exhaust because obviously that's uh, definitely not a good thing. Um, so I did that so that the exhaust wouldn't come back into the attic. Anyway, you know, you try to fix as much as you can when you see it. You know, that's an easy fix, so I did that. So the homeowner doesn't have any issues down the road.
I'm the guy that uh, comes after the team that does the spray foam and I insulate uh, the rest of it. So I uh, definitely want to uh, get in and fill all the cracks so that uh, your building envelope is never compromised, doesn't have any gaps. So that's, uh, that's my job.